Josh, great to see you. A, a new boy Thank in you. camp. How have you settled in? Yeah, I've settled in really well, I think. Um, I think all the boys have welcomed me um, with open arms and it's just about getting to know everyone properly yeah. still. Um, but no, it's been very enjoyable. I suppose this is the ideal way to do it because you're in camp, you're together for, uh, for, for a full week and, and you sort of fast track that sort of new friendships and, and meeting people, I suppose. Yeah, I think even with the training in this heat and like working hard, it kind of shows your teammates what kind of person you are and stuff like that. So I think I've, 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 I've set a good example of myself and mm. what I like to do in training, how hard I work. So hopefully we just keep on building on that throughout the season. Yeah, the world of football is quite close, of course. So I presume you, your paths will have crossed with a few of the lads previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, you always pass, yeah. uh, cross paths with uh, a few footballers playing against them or knowing someone who knows them. Um, so, yeah, there's a few, a few boys that I've passed, uh, crossed paths with before, but mm. obviously it's about meeting everyone and mm. getting to know the team as a whole. And yeah. But on the training front, obviously you, you, everybody's been working hard at different times of the day and, and all, all sorts of, of elements to it, physical and a bit of ball work as well. How, how much have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been very enjoyable. It's been obviously totally different because the last couple of years I haven't been away um, to do a pre-season. So to come here and do it straight away is, is, is really good. And it's, I think it's good for your, for your overall physical and mental state going into a season to test you. Um, with the heat and mm. the hardness of the running and training and stuff and the load in your legs. So, no, it's been, it's been very good and I've enjoyed it so far. Good. I hear that uh, you are a very good athlete and that you're one of the top runners at all the clubs you've been at. And, and you know, and I think here as well, you've been right up with the pace. Is that true? Is that a strong attribute of yourself? Yeah, yeah, I think that is a strong attribute of me. Um, I do obviously try and keep, look after myself and keep in top shape. And I think I need that for how I play anyway. So yeah. it's part and parcel of me trying to, me to, perform at the level I want to. I need to be fit, I need to be quick uh, and I need to obviously stay injury free and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all part and parcel of myself and trying to work hard to, to, to do that. Good stuff. And, and any player that comes in, obviously you'll be given time and, and you sign because the management know that you're the right person, the right fit and, and you're going to go on and do good things. But equally, you make, want to make a good impression straight away, I believe, I would imagine as, as a new player. Yeah, I think anywhere you go, if you have to go anywhere in the any of club in the league, you'd want to hit the ground running and make a good impression on the coaches. Even though they've seen you play and, and watch all the clips and stuff like that, you want to you want to give that account of yourself because there's certain things that they might not see, and certain things in training, how you like your attitude and stuff like that. So you always got to try and stay stay focused and positive and give it give it all you've got because that that shows and they see that. And I suppose ultimately from day one, everybody's competing for a shirt, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. And that's a that's when you, you get. A successful team when you know everyone's competing there's no bad blood about yeah. competing in that way so I think we've got a group that will do that this year and we'll be fighting for the spaces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so how much are you looking forward to the actual the, the pre-season game starting it, it's always a gradual build-up but to, to get out there and play a bit of football? Yeah you, you always want the games to come thick and fast <laughs> so yeah. then the running, get the running, the running slows down <laughs> yeah and you start doing more of the football stuff and, and stuff like that but yeah no, I can't wait to, to for the game to start and even to play at play at Bolton yeah. um, for the first pre-season game it will be a good experience and good to see a few of the fans in there. Yeah absolutely and I think we're only five weeks away on Saturday I think from the, actually starting and we're at home on the opening day so yeah. it's always I'm sure everybody all the lads have got the, a circle around that date in, in, in the diary. Yeah definitely I think it's ultimately pre-season is a build-up to that to that first game and you want to hit the ground running so we're looking to do that and we're putting all the work in to be able to do that um, on that Saturday. Obviously you've played at an even higher level with Birmingham City in the Championship uh, before going and playing a lot of football at Tranmere. Has that been good for you? A, a, having experience at, at, at a big club at a good level and then going and get some real good game experience under your belt at Tranmere? Yeah, definitely. And I think the amount of the managers I had there mm -hmm. gave me loads of different kind of instructions to take away from and it's, it's all part of the experience, it's all part of my journey. and. I think going to Tramier and getting them games in there about served me very well. Um, that's what I needed, mm -hmm. um, probably earlier if I, if I could, but obviously it worked out where that's the time I needed it. So yeah, and it's it led me here. So hopefully we can carry on going. And, yeah, and the perfect time to be going yeah. back on the on the upward curve again. League One now, and who knows what what's what's going to be. In yeah, the definitely. That's it. That's always the aim. I think I was speaking to the manager before I came to the club, he was he was adamant we were we were pushing to get to the championship, and I think that's always 
always a positive and that's always what I've kind of strived to do. So I'll be, I'll be trying my hardest to help the boys get there. Yeah, but perhaps a bit of an unfair question. We've only been in the camp a few days and not played any compact of football, but you'll know the players and the backgrounds to some extent. But you feel the quality in the squad, just sort of being around everybody and, and, and the work you're doing? Yeah, definitely. Even even when we've been doing our running and we go into our ball work, you can you can tell it's, it's at a higher level and you need to be more focused, which is, which is good because you, you want to be working tired and working with quality tired. Yeah. So that only leads to stuff, good stuff on the pitch. So... I think we'll all take that into the games this year. And so lastly, just to touch on exciting for the real thing to start and being a proper Bolton player when the real thing comes, yeah, and getting yeah, the chance to run out there and, and yeah, play. Yeah, there's nothing better than actually running out to a stadium of fans um, and starting your first game for the club. And Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to do it. Well, we'll look forward to seeing it. Thanks Thank very you. much.